Before I start this video, I want to make an important announcement about this channel. I won't be doing streams as much as I used to, so to compensate, I decided to make a Twitter account. You can find my Twitter on my channel page, or you can click click the link in the description below for that. I will try to keep you guys updated as much as I can on Twitter, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, and I will most likely answer them depending on the question. Anyways, enjoy the video. Today's response video is going to be on a YouTube channel known as Kalobi Productions. If you guys don't know who Kalobi Productions is, long story short, he's a cartoon channel who makes really shitty countdown videos in the most clickbaity way possible. Seriously, this guy's a fucking joke. If you want to see more information about him, I highly recommend you guys check out my friend um, Twisted Danes' rant video on him. He goes into much better detail on why this guy's channel sucks. And and if, you get, and if you guys decide to go check out his rant video, tell him I sent you, alright? But that's besides the point. The video I'm going to be responding to today is his response to Veliskabum94, and good god is it terrible. Now, before I, res before I start this response, let me just say that I am not going to... I'm not doing this to defend Veliskabum at all. I don't like Vale's content, and he uploads the same type of shitty, clickbaity content, though not as much as this guy. This is only going to be a response to his video, because this video of his is proof that he cannot take any criticism. Without further ado, let's dive in. Yo, what is going on, homies? Welcome back to Kalobi Productions. Guys, you know, we have a serious topic ahead of today's video. Guys, you know we produce the most legendary and just iconic videos on the internet and even the biggest names on YouTube, you know, they can't stay away from this channel. Okay, I have three issues with this. One, your content is not legendary or iconic, it's just clickbaity trash. Two, Veliskabum is far from the biggest names on YouTube. Don't get me wrong, he has a lot of subscribers. I mean, 385,000 subscribers is a lot, but that is far from being one of the biggest. Three, the only reason why he's not quote unquote staying away from your content is because, again, it fucking sucks. The Loud House Characters meets Spongebob Crossover Parody by Kalobi Productions. Most of this is just one picture with a few frames animated in, and if you want to see some unfunny jokes and some really lazy editing, then check this video out. Wow, so he's saying that I only put one picture in with a few frames. Now, that's what animation is. I don't know if he knows this, but the video is two minutes long. I'm not going to be jumping around. Um, I'm not going to be drawing backgrounds and, and jumping around like a, like an actual company like Spongebob, Square, like the people actually animate. You know? Um, yeah. When the hell did Vale say that you had to use multiple backgrounds? His criticism was that it was only a few frames of animation with no effort put into it. It's just not really realistic for me to be drawing that much with zero budget. You know, it's just hard to draw, guys. It's hard to animate, it really is. Veliskabum never said that it was easy, so I don't understand why you are bringing this shit up. You know, when you don't really have enough team members to do what you gotta do. So, you know, and Veliskabum said, you know, it looks like trash. You know, he said he doesn't really like them. You know, that's okay. You know, even I think it's trash, guys. You, guys, I think it's, I don't think it's good. So, let me get this straight. You yourself think it's trash, yet you are still going to bitch about how Veliskabum criticized your shit. If anything, this is just proving Vale's point more. But it was a starting point for something better. And that's what we need to understand. This doesn't change the fact that your animation is trash like you admitted. So yeah guys, this video is said, the title of this video he said, these cartoon videos shouldn't exist, Spongebob edition. And then my video got featured. Let's see what else he has to say. Kalobi Productions has done a bunch of videos like this, and they really shouldn't exist. I'll admit I don't like them. But yeah, these SpongeBob videos are all over YouTube. You can find even more than the ones I talked about today. And they're probably going to keep on coming, sadly, because of the YouTube Kids app. Wow. So, Vilskabum, you actually, he said he doesn't even like our content. Wow. Yeah, guys. How dare he doesn't like my shitty content. Fucking hell, dude, you can't be serious. And you know, we're just trying to produce the best content that we can, guys. Um, but something that I don't really understand is on my Gravity Falls videos, this guy really doesn't like them. And it doesn't really make any sense. I mean, everyone seemed to like the video called Gravity, Ball Gravity Falls is coming back in 2018, maybe. 
Oh yeah, everybody liked it, which is why you disabled the like and dislike bar on that video. Seriously, if what you're saying is true, that everybody indeed liked that video, then why did you disable the ratings? Also, just because everybody liked it, that doesn't mean Vale himself can't like it. That's not how it works, bruh. And you know, I addressed real facts in the video. These are real facts. These are everything that Alex Hirsch, the creator of the show, said. And you know, I showed tweets. I said, you know, this and this. And I said it's coming back before the comics was announced. This was before any of that happened. Dude, you didn't address any real facts. You looked at Alex Hirsch's Twitter and found that he wrote cooking up new mischief and immediately concluded that he is working on a new season for Gravity Falls. Like, and guys, I'm not even playing by the way. That's literally what his video was about. Don't believe me? Let me show you a clip. We scrambled through all of Alex's tweets, but none of them seemed to hint to a new season. However, we did find in his bio that he is currently cooking up new mischief. This means that we may be seeing a change for the new year. And then Veilskabub actually just said no. You know, it's just crazy. I mean, what is he hating on, guys? It doesn't really make any sense. I mean, if I'm showing facts, you know, it doesn't really make sense that he would hate on it, but he still it's just said no. Dude, I said this before and I'll say this again. He doesn't have to like your video. Seriously, your inability to handle criticism is starting to get on my nerves. You know, it's kind of weird. But then later, you know, he actually came out with a video saying that Gravity Falls returns in the comics about one week or so later after the video that I said. So it turns out that the theory that I had actually came true. And, you know, no one is even no one even knows this happened. It's just crazy. But here's the difference. You tried to claim that Gravity Falls is returning to TV by completely misinterpreting what was said on Twitter by Alex Hirsch. Vale, on the other hand, claimed that Gravity Falls was returning to comics, which is a complete difference from TV, by the way. But he said that Gravity Falls was returning to comics, and he used a clip of Mr. Hirsch specifically saying that. But this time there's actual news and this is very important for the continuation of the show. And before I say anything, just watch this clip from Alex Hirsch. Seriously, your failure to understand this is fucking mind blowing. But guys, I know I'm not here to talk bad about anyone, you know, and this got me thinking, you know, I just wanted to type in, you know, what's going on in the cartoon community, because you guys know that I'm new to the community, I typed it on, you know, YouTube, and this, it's just a lot of hate popped up, and I was like, whoa, I mean, I thought these guys were together, I thought these guys bonded together, you know, just, just crazy guys, but then again, guys, I don't know, I separate myself from these guys, you guys know that I am separate from these guys, we are a separate entity. If you are a separate entity, then why do you care so much about the cartoon community getting a lot of hate? Seriously, this whole section is just fucking pointless. You know, we are a different cartoon species. Different cartoon species? Different cartoon species? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I may be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure you are not a cartoon, <laughs> nor are you a different species. <laughs> oh, fuck me. God damn it. <laughs> and we don't do the exact same thing that these guys do, but there's a lot of hate. You know, it doesn't really make any sense because the cartoons that they love, they claim to love, you know, the, the, the morals of these cartoons are saying the opposite of what these guys are doing. They're not encouraging each other. They're saying, you know, just saying a lot of bad things about each other. It doesn't really make any sense. Well, just because they watch cartoons with morals, that doesn't mean that they will listen to them. Like, like seriously, that's, that's not how shit works, dude. Now, this is a quote, if you don't believe me, this is a quote from Jake the Dog from Adventure Time. He says, sucking at something is the first step towards being sort of good at something. Dude, you are quoting something from fucking Adventure Time to prove your point? <laughs> God damn this video. <laughs> Fuck this, man. I'm skipping to the end. This is just garbage. <laughs> 
But anyway, it seems like Bale's Kabum 94. And you know, it's crazy because I looked at his channel. It doesn't really seem, you know, I was trying to look for animation on his channel to try to, you know, better myself as an animator, you know, because he said the animation was a still frame. So I was looking on his channel. I didn't really see anything. So it seems like he doesn't even really have anything in his plate. You know, it's just crazy. You know, I don't know this guy. I'm not saying I hate him. I'm just saying he doesn't even have any animations on his channel. So, it doesn't matter if he doesn't have any animations on his channel. That doesn't refute or negate his criticism at all. Anyways guys, I'm done with this shitty excuse of a response video. I honestly think that this guy is legitimately one of the worst cartoon channels I have ever seen. He might be just as bad as Enter if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Because not only are his videos utter trash, he also cannot take any criticism. I mean, fuck me, the cartoon community just gets worse and worse. I seriously don't get how this guy has 30,000 subscribers. Like, this has to be a fucking joke. Anyways, that's it. This is Mega Dude TV here, the old Trantiger, signing off. I hope you guys enjoyed this response video. And again, follow me on Twitter. Link in the description below. And there's going to be a link on my channel page if you guys are interested. Anyways, this is Mega Dude TV here, or the old Trantiger, signing off. Have a nice day, everybody.